All right, this video is part of my nothing series uh, where I just talk without a script about life, living, death, just things from the heart without having an agenda, without, you know, uh, talking of self-improvement or marketing my services or uh, talking about anything specific. I just go with the flow. For some reason, uh, last year when I created the Nothing series, you can check in the playlist. Huh? Uh, somehow, I don't know, I just started with one video with a question mark, nothing. <laughs> and um, somehow people liked that series and it went up to 100 plus, I think 128 videos, each 30 to 60 minutes long. I guess people could connect to it. And uh, I finished it last year. So this year I thought, okay, I'll start another series. So this is the nothing 2024 edition. <laughs> okay, so yeah, feel free. Uh, there's, there's no agenda to this. There's nothing like, oh, you're going to change your life or anything. It's just like a friend talking to another friend. So maybe you don't want to... Uh, Listen to this when driving or cleaning your house, if there's nothing else better to do. Okay. Uh, today, what I, it, it's more like a diary, huh? by the way, it's more like a diary, like I'm writing a diary and I'm speaking my heart out. So you'll just get me speaking from the heart. Nothing uh, like not trying to be perfect. So if it, is a flop or boring? Well, that's what it is. Okay, so... Um, today I... You know, my head was more... towards speaking about... Uh, how... You know... You know, when you're young, you want to get married. You want to have uh, a wife. You want to have a family. You know, we are so fascinated with that concept. I don't know about you or I don't know about other cultures, but in the Indian culture, marriage is, uh, it, it, it's a kind of a achievement. It's a kind of a phase you have to go to. And uh, for if you're a girl and you reach that stage, it's like the parents have done their job. And if you're a boy, and you reach that stage, it's like, ah, oh, my son has become a man. So marriage is considered very important in the Indian tradition and Indian culture. And, um, you know, families get involved and, um, you know, there's a lot of, you know, uh, it's a big thing. It's a, it's a big story. Okay, it's a big achievement. It's like getting your MBA, PhD or getting a global award. <laughs> and that is why Indian families, they plan it out for months and months. They even take bank loans and nowadays people take, husband takes a loan, wife takes a loan, parents take a loan and they will invite the whole bloody village. They'll invite Tom, Dick and Harry and everyone else. It's a matter of pride. Oh, and they will dress. Uh, nowadays, it's become so commercial where they will even employ videographers or photographers and try to make it like a movie production. Seriously, huh? Like drone shots and, you know, you walking like this and the drone is going and like a movie star. In fact, I saw one where a guy literally spent, I think, uh, close to 10 or $20,000. I don't know the exact figure. Just for the videography okay and he's not a rich guy mind you the drone shots included him standing on a yacht looking up and his girl looking it was actually like a movie huh? and when he was wearing his cufflinks a close-up shot of the cluff and whoosh, you know <laughs> it's a, and the girl like looking up and you know the water flowing and they had even traveled to different parts of the uae just to take those photographs he walking with a Bentley and 
like a dodge viper and what not oh too much too much for i i seriously thought it was a movie trailer and i saw it and uh, anyway so so some people do all this in fact even makeup sometimes i've heard makeup can be even for the cheapest a thousand dollars just imagine makeup and hair for one day some guys and girls even go through a strict regimen to lose weight and be fit and fit into their dress and show their best and oh goodness it's it's a it's a crazy affair you you have to be indian to know this uh, don't don't get carried away by what you see on uh photographs i think you should see youtube videos where they show you these weddings and it's not just the indian typical guy wears white with flowers and rides a horse he and female wears red and they go around the indian uh puja kind of fire so it goes beyond that uh the reception at the hotel the calling of the vip guests and nowadays they even have themed weddings like my cousin had purple and purple and pink i think purple and pink everyone was supposed to wear purple and pink and uh some others working class people huh? these are working class people i know this uh female she she and her hubby both took loans parents also took loans and they went to the maldives all the entire entourage and uh <laughs> they had a themed wedding they all went with the same aircraft and oh goodness imagine working class people uh, well anyway i i guess uh, maybe it's a uh, these specialist day specialist more special like super special the special special specialist day of their life so in fact i remember when i used to be a dj and mc for shows they wanted to know the exact playlist exact songs exact sequence of how i'm going to do it and this is almost like 6 to 8 months before the wedding <laughs> seriously they wanted to know what songs i was going to play uh, 6 to 8 months before the wedding for each segment <laughs> oh i've been through all anyway why am i bringing this up is um, i've been married you know four times luckily for me i've made it very cost effective <laughs> i made my marriage is cost i didn't know i was going to get married four times seriously i i i didn't know the first one cost me i think i think all my weddings cost around roughly around a thousand dollars they would it wouldn't go more than that seriously entire bloody wedding okay and even less than that uh all all of them some even less than that uh, just call people for the church and that time i was a christian so church so first two were in the church and the priest you had to pay the charges and then meet at someone's house little small you know buffet is there rice and this and that you know typical whatever you get 35 bucks per head or 25 bucks per head and they eat food and get some gifts very happy and go home so you know dress obviously whatever we are so first wedding divorce was super cheap but very painful second wedding second wedding was also uh super cheap because it was in kolkata uh divorce took 7 years and two trips to india it had to go by the law third wedding was just go to the consulate sign divorce was also signed so that was maybe the cheapest that was almost zero i think zero cost only had to pay for registration or something last wedding was my this wifey where uh, i made you know all my weddings no alcohol no booze no smoking no party just family people 
But like I said, this is my last and final wedding. Hello. This is my last and final wedding and if this doesn't work, forget it. No more weddings. Not going to make another. In fact, I don't want. And in fact, this video is going to be about the marriage. So anyway, just had simple people, mother, father and whatever, just bought small things and food and all that. So now it comes down to why am I sharing all this? You know, the the goal of every guy or girl, especially, I, I'm sure other cultures and countries and nationalities and people have the same, but everyone wants that magical wedding. Okay, they want that moment. Why? Because they feel their life will change. I'll, like when it was, before I was going to get married the first time, I thought, it's going to change my life. It's going to be a magical moment. I'll become a man. I'll be a, a husband to a wife. I'll be a father to a child. I'll be mature. I'll grow up. I'll be focused and you know, all that. And then deep down, there's always a fantasy that you'll marry a white blondie with the, and have blonde children and live the Hollywood life that they show in Hollywood movies, olden days. And happily ever after, yeah. Funny thing is, we all like to buy into that illusion. After you marry, life will change and it'll be beautiful, it'll be meaningful. In fact, I'm sure you see a lot of social media posts where the family is huddled together, husband and wife, babies. Life looks so perfect, especially if you see Facebook and Instagram posts. And then you think, wow, such a perfect life. The, the thing is, little do you know what goes back end. Little do you know what the person is thinking, the guy or the girl. And because I've been a coach, consultant and mentor and people come to me for advice, people open up and reveal their deepest, darkest secrets. <laughs> Some... So I can't talk, I, I can't even, you would not even believe if I tell you. Some of them are so dark, very disturbing some of them, seriously, some of them very disturbing. I don't know, you want to hear? Then just make sure your children or nobody is hearing, because I'll tell you now. Some, it seems some of, some people who watch my videos watch it in front of their children. They encourage their children to hear, so please. Okay, ready? Alright, some of them, I've had uh, actual paid clients, huh? Over the span of 20, 25 years. Even before I, I was not taking money. People used to just talk to me for advice or whatever, I guess. You feel comfortable. Mother having an affair with a son. Father with his actual daughter, not, not like that porn fetish, my stepdaughter, actual daughter. Then uh, lady having someone else's child. Then uh, the then the normal ones like husband is gay, secretly. Then there are cases whereby uh, they are married, they are totally miserable, but the wife, uh, you know, is threatening to destroy the guy's life because she wants to enjoy the comfortable life. Then there are cases where the guy got money just for the benefits, like his parents, or he'll get money. Some are really dark, yeah. And some of them are, they have disturbing sexual behaviors and, and they go to different countries, they don't tell their spouses. And in some cases, which is very general, they show on social media they're happy. But man, they are miserable. Sometimes I get videos and audio 
you know they keep the phone hidden so they don't the partner doesn't know oh the shouting the screaming the breaking of stuff can you believe some people are so um, i mean they look so decent and nice but then their real behavior behind closed doors Whew. so now comes to me my married life so what am i trying to hide behind the facade of uh these perfectly curated shots on instagram facebook i'm sure you've seen the videos and photographs happy married life i show my daughter eating outside my wife eating outside we eating as a family we take photographs as a family so obviously you will be like perfect family right now you must be like oh the juicy bit is coming out yeah well i'll tell you in fact i'll give you an example so that you kind of make sense of what i'm saying you know you know that my daughter and my wife are in ubon rajasthani which is around 800 to 900 kilometers from where i stay okay i'm on an island and they are there now uh, you know you saw in the previous video where the drama took place and i kind of punished my wife for not sending her money uh, i told her you work and so even my child my child is living a simple life which anyway whether we were fighting or not i wanted my child to live a simple life now whenever i send them now the problem is resolved but whenever i send them like a gift or something like for my baby or my wife like valentines day i send flowers chocolates this that whenever i send them a gift oh they brighten up my wife brightens up my baby brightens up in fact now my baby has it has become a habit like she she knows any time a delivery comes from me she knows it's going to be a lot of gifts to open so the last time when i sent um uh, a box full of you know crisps and chips you call it chips or crisp plus juice and chocolates and all that my daughter actually followed up with my wifey which neither me nor my wife expected she followed up with her every single day thankfully she didn't have to wait more than 3 days every single day she would ask my wife where is the box when is it coming when is the delivery coming and my daughter would stand outside the door and of the house and see and wait in fact whenever a delivery guy would pass by she would say ni 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 she would tell my mother, wife in thai and finally when it did arrive on the day it was supposed to arrive my wife told her today is going to arrive because they have a tracking no so you can check on the phone because i've addressed it to her so when she told her today is going to come my daughter didn't uh, budge from being outside right from morning five, thankfully it came in the afternoon from morning she was outside waiting 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 finally it came and when it came the box came and she was hugging the box and all that i have these photographs on my facebook uh, so she was hugging the box and she was happy and posing and my wife was over her, you know found it very amusing took some photographs shared it with me and they don't open it until you know they inform me and i like to see their especially the daughter's expression so finally when the camera came on when i came on she said uh can i open can i open you know my daughter was asking thai she said yeah i yeah, asked papa so i said yes and when she opened oh she was overjoyed with her favorite crisps and juice and chocolates and even my wife got something so they both were happy now i gave them all that they were very happy and then my wife said okay we need this we need that couple of things which i'm planning to buy later on now what is if you have not sensed what i'm trying to say 
Well, I'll have to say it explicitly. I'm able to give them happiness because I'm able to earn money. Okay. And both my daughter and my wife, they are my responsibility. I take care of them. Okay. My daughter, anyway, she can't give anything back to me. I don't expect anything. So she only gives her love and appreciation. Fine. My wife, she does her duties sometimes as a wife. Although she's lazy, but she's a good woman. And uh, that's how she does. And in return, I take care of her. And yes, provide her with whatever she wants. Before it was unlimited access to cash. Now it is limited after she made that mistake. You can check the previous videos where I speak about what was that problem and why it was so serious. So when I reflect now, when I think about this, I just ask myself, man, it comes down to money, right? If you actually look at it, because I have money, because I'm able to earn in dollars, I'm able to provide them here in Thailand. So the conversion favors me. So they get what they want. If I was a normal Thai person, a normal average, uh, like how my wife's her sisters and husbands, maybe they would be able to give 10 or 20% of what I give them, 10 to 20%. And not as frequently as I give them. Like I can afford to send my wife and my kid something special almost every, I don't know, every two, three days, if I want. Uh, in fact, I've sent a massive, uh, this thing, uh, number of uh, boxes, a uh, total eight filled with all goodies the first time. So even the person, the courier was like, oh, what are you shifting? I said, no, this is just for them to, you know, enjoy or whatever. So it all comes down to money. And then when I think about it, what if I didn't have the money? Hmm. What if I was not able to give them such a good life? What if it was average? Then how my wife would have reacted? How my kid would have reacted? In fact, if you actually look at it, a wife and a child is... It's like, you know, when you have a pet, you have to take care of the pet. You have to provide food for it, water, medicines, take care of its growth, safety, you know, any emergencies. And that takes money. You need to provide for all this. So, you know, when I think about it, I'm like, hmm, this is like, you know, if you have a pet in the house, you are supposed to take care. Now I have what? Uh, six guinea pigs, four sugar gliders. I have three dogs. And for all of them, I buy food. All of them, I take care. All of them, you know, their pet pads, their poop, their shit has to be cleaned. Feed them. The other day, my guinea pig's leg was stuck. It was squealing and I rushed and I was like, oh, what happened? And it put its leg and its claw in the cage, you know the thing. Thankfully, I managed to get it out. Others, it would have broken or sprained or whatever. So 24-7, I am taking care. What do they give me? Joy. Okay. Anything else? No. So, you know, and thankfully, I don't have the drama. I don't have the headaches that come with most, what most people face in their relation. Seriously, thankfully, I don't have all this. So when I think about it, I wonder, having children, having a spouse who doesn't work, for example, it's nothing but expenses, right? Like right now, if I see my expenses at home have come down by nearly 60, 70%. The electricity when my wife was there was 3,500 plus. Now it is 1,900. Food, literally, seriously, huh? not a joke. Sometimes $100 a day. A day, huh? Now it is hardly anything. 
now it is maybe hundred dollars three times uh, no once in three days or four days and I'm just talking of food I'm not talking of the other random things like snacks and juice and going out and shopping and in fact uh, when I go for my groceries we used to go once every week now I go once every three weeks <laughs> obviously I'm alone right and because I eat after nine o'clock in the night there's not much expense so the the point being is married life is all about expense man money and I'm telling you I'm so lucky that I'm staying in like a simple place like this I sometimes think of couples who stay in cities or expensive places how much are they spending for rent how much are they spending for water electricity how much are they spending for uh, education a child's education itself is a bloody fortune yeah it's like uh, you purchased a Rolls Royce or something how do people manage all this yeah So when I think about all this, I really wonder like, what the hell here? Seriously, what the hell? So, in fact, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not ashamed, but I'll tell you this. I was actually thinking, well, uh, getting married and having a child, even though it's a perfect family, is all about, uh, you know, spending more money to maintain them. And thankfully, I don't have drama, I don't have shouting, screaming, I don't have uh, fights. So my life is very peaceful, so... But just imagine if someone had fights, arguments, drama, and... Where you're going, what you're doing, and why this, why that, and... And they had an expensive lifestyle and they want you to spend money. Then what do you do, man? <laughs> so that is why, honestly, I'm... I'm just grateful that all that drama is not there. But then I also think about, you know, being alone. How my life would I be? Being single like this, you know? But yeah, the other side is that if you become old, who will take care of you? As it is, they can't take care of themselves. I have to take care of them. So tomorrow if I'm old, do you think they are going to take care of me? They have to take care of themselves first, no? which they can hardly do. I know I'm sounding uh, like a pessimist or... You can say whatever you like, but... Honestly, I... It just reaffirms my belief that marriage is a responsibility. It is an undertaking where if you choose or take on the mantle or the role of being a man, then you have to take the burden on your shoulders of looking after them for the rest of your life. And that involves money. That involves expense. That involves lots of sacrifice. It's not cheap. It's not a joke. And it's not for anyone and everyone. In fact, uh, why do you think so many couples, husband is working, wife is working? And given how life is today, the day and age that we're living, expenses are only going to get higher. Things are only going to get more expensive. Life is only going to get more challenging. And then the question begets, after you've done all this for your family, is there any ROI, return on investment? Is there any guarantee that your marriage will stand the test of time? Is there any guarantee your partner will live? Is there any guarantee your partner would want to take care of you? I've even known marriages of my relatives and like 40, 45 years and then they divorced. I'm like, what? Sure. And then, uh, you know, you sacrifice so much for your child. What assurance is there your child will be there for you, take care of you, look after you? 
you can't expect and even if they do what kind of life will they give you will they give you a life where you're treated with regard and respect or will you be made to like feel every single day you're a burden and uh, they are doing you a favor in fact uh, as you and i become old the question is are we going to be irritating so irritating that nobody wants to deal with us <sighs> marriage is nothing but a responsibility uh uh an expense a uh, headache that you take on your shoulders initially it's all fun it's like buying a new car off the showroom oh the smell of that fresh leather the, the dull thud of the door and you know when you turn on the car and it's like magic and starts so fast and it's so beautiful the suspension and the feeling you feel like a billion dollars you feel like a king of the world but after some time you get used to the car and then after the honeymoon phase of the car experience is over then begins the day to day maintenance the service the extra parts you know the insurance the challenges that come and then if you have you know an accident or car replacement or Oh, there it becomes extremely inconvenient not only inconvenient not only inconvenient it becomes a massive headache and then the wear and tear so this is life my dear friend this is life now do i advise you to get married your life uh, why should i advise you there but i will tell you one thing if you don't have the means the money or the resources time effort energy to dedicate yourself to the needs of another person without expecting anything back or getting more or less the same if you can bear that fine if you can't like especially if you can't take care of yourself you want to have a bloody nightmare and if the female earns more than you even though i am an atheist i'm going to tell you god help you seriously god allah jesus munra or all the gods help you you will be you'll regret <laughs> being born a man you'll be made to feel like shit for me i when i think about it today it's like yeah marriage it's like having all these pets in the house i could have done without it but now that i've already undertaken it no regrets take it on does that mean i don't love my wife or my kid no i do if i didn't i wouldn't take care of them do i regret having them no absolutely not but the thought is always there if i didn't have them you yeah, know life would have been maybe more selfish towards me more benefiting to me less expense more enjoyment maybe that's not a good thing on the downside you could say maybe i would have not been so mature and wouldn't have changed or evolved that is also there but overall it's a circle of life because like this you know you come from nothing into this world and you go back to nothing hmm. and uh, you just every day you wake up you have a responsibility or someone to take care of like really every day i get up i think about my pets i have to clean their cage i have to put food i have to make sure they are okay all the pets and uh, even if i go out i plan it out okay i'll be late so should i 
clean the uh, this thing first or should I do it after it? Should I put the food first or after it? Check the water, check everything. Because after all, they are creatures, no? So if I have so much concern for my pets, you can imagine how much more concern I have for my wife and my kid. Anyway, so I'm not going to advise you whether you should or shouldn't get married. You decide for yourself. Do you have the capacity to take care of yourself? If yes, then you can think about it. And remember, marriage is a responsibility. It is a challenge. It's you giving everything you have to the other person. So don't get married until you, have fe until you feel you have done it all, finished all your distractions and excitement and you're really ready to settle down. Once you're ready to settle down, then have a wife and a child. And then begins the next phase of you being a provider, being a giver and being a caretaker. Alright? This is today's episode of Nothing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to ask me any questions if you have. And yes, share your input. I always read it. Guys, take care. Let me sign you off. Ciao.